Hello folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a ranking video where we're going to put four daily uh, planner applications and sort of give you an overview of where I rank them. Um, I got a lot of feedback from the last video saying that people quite like this in terms of understanding how an application works. So maybe, um, as you can imagine, uh, I'll give you some of my opinions, but also it will help you to un like learn what these applications are about. So I've picked four applications that are quite popular in the space uh, right now for daily planning, and they're Motion, not Notion, Sunsama, Akiflow, and Friday. So I'm going to start with Motion. Now this application is quite interesting because it's got a lot of attention recently. Um, it's more aggressively priced. Um, however, it has been getting uh, some attention as a, a fantastic Chrome extension for managing uh, work and productivity. And a lot of people have said they've fallen in love with Motion over the last couple of years. So this application basically uh, brings your calendar and your tasks together and helps you to manage your day by putting yourself in deeper work sessions. Much like the other two, this application is beginning some really interesting traction and that's why I'm gonna put it in great. So next up is Sunsama. I have actually fallen in love with this application more recently as my new note, uh, my, my new to-do list application um, and I've been using it um, a little bit more uh, often. I've been using it over uh, just a month and a half now, I think in total um, and I'm really impressed with the app so far. I'm still getting to grips with it. Um, but as you can imagine, this application is growing on me over time. Um, I'm actually going to put this one in between good and great. Um, the main reason is because I think Motion um, is probably better uh, aligned uh, when it comes to um, the sort of like machine learning uh, technologies and the big data in the future than Santama is but I really like the way Sinsama approaches. They've recently released something called Weekly Planning, which helps you to set your objective for the week and set a, a correlated time based on it. And it's, it's really interesting that the way that they're doing that. Next up is AkiFlow. And now again, AkiFlow is a really interesting application because it consolidates your experience. We're actually working on a course at the moment on AkiFlow. I'm sure it'll be out by the time this video is done. Um, I'm gonna put it in good. Uh, the main reason is because uh, I, th whilst I think it's a really interesting application, I think uh, what it doesn't have at the moment in terms of the daily planning experience is that hand holding that Motion and Sun Sama have. Um, so what it does really well is it helps you to bring all those apps together in terms of Todoist, Trello, Notion, all in one app, and then it helps you to organize where it goes. And it's got a fantastic feature called Command Bar that can help you organize what is coming up. Uh, in terms of like quick, quickly doing it, uh, and I really like that. But I wouldn't necessarily say it's on par with with Motion and Sunsama. Next up is Friday, and I'm I'm also impressed with this application for teams, um, but also for individuals. And again, I'm going to put it in the good category with. Uh, with AkiFlow and and because it's it's still growing it's still very early days for this application but a lot of people like it because uh, you can set yourself goals um, and you can uh, work towards uh, those goals um, using the sort of check-ins uh, functionality which is almost like a journal function um, and it's also got some really uh, fantastic planner uh, abilities for teams um, and it's also very moderately priced compared to the other ones uh, you've got Motion, which is priced, at, I believe, $20, but there's some heavy discounting when you start. Uh, you've got Sunsama, which is priced at, again, $20, um, but they've got a $16 annual plan. And then you've got AkiFlow, which is $15, um, and that's just a flat rate. Uh, there's no free plan anymore. Friday is, I believe, for an individual plan. Uh, don't quote me on this. I think it's about $6 per month, which is a lot less. Um, but as you can imagine, um, using it for your team is probably more effective than using it for yourself in comparison with these other uh, applications. But they're my thoughts. I think it's a really interesting space at the moment, and hopefully we'll do a tier ranking video soon, uh, which gives uh, sort of more depth when there's more sort of daily planners on the market, but super interesting at the moment. If you wanna check them all out below, we've got more videos on all of these applications, set motion, um, we need to do one. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you're new, subscribe. If you like this video, hit like, and comment below with your thoughts and uh, maybe rank them in order of how you like them. All right, folks, cheerio.